Hi, this is Missy. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be interviewing people and asking them about the Korean declining birth rate and what is their opinion on that. And don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. So Korea is well known for having the lowest birth rate in the whole world. Why do you think that is? Personally, like I work here as a teacher and I have no time to even see my friends. I have no time to even date. So I can't imagine people who are actually living full time in Korea. Uh, their situation is much different to mine. Mm -hmm. so. OK, yeah, it's too, too busy, too busy too to busy. actually have time for children. Yeah. yeah, it seems like a stressful environment, especially like for the kids. You know, a lot of work, a lot of school, mm -hmm. and then Hagwon and everything like that. So I think mm -hmm. maybe because they want a good work and all that hard education to make something, mm -hmm. they need to focus more on the work than mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. And if the like jobs or works here, that if the woman will have a family soon, yeah. they will maybe not like choose her for the yeah. work. Um, for me, I would think that because right now a lot of people have uh, grasped the concept of independent living mm -hmm. and they don't they don't really think that kids are like a necessity because the responsibility that comes with raising a kid and all the problems and everything else. So to them, I feel like they are prioritizing themselves first, mm -hmm. which also causes to the delay of, you know, birth and yeah, and children and stuff. Yeah. You don't have so many like benefits of having a child. Yeah. It's just like many expenses, like very uh, expensive childcare, schools are very expensive, later university is very expensive, in general like baby products are very expensive. Mm -hmm. So people are more thinking like, oh, I prefer to enjoy my life more than having a baby right now. Uh, we really want to enjoy our own life. Right. Okay, what do you think about the declining birth rate in Korea? Uh, I'm not Korean, so I can't say to think, but I think boys and boys, like boys couple, oh. like girls couple mm -hmm. are more and more. Mm. So they are not make children. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Thank Anything you. else? It's okay. Okay, thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> is it, is, um, I think it's kind of just like a generational thing um, because our generation now, we're waiting to have kids or we also have just have life experience so we don't want kids. Mm. I mean, in my personal opinion, like I'm either waiting to have kids or I'm not going to have kids mm -hmm. because in the world we're in now it's kind of like why would i bring a life into something so hard right yeah, now right, right, right. so i feel like it's just a generational thing yeah i don't think it's just korea choosing not to have kids i think it's the generation is trying to be i don't want to say smarter but smarter about how they raise their kids mm. and right now it's not the best time to raise kids hi it's missy so i'm joined today with Chambo, hello. Chambo, where are you from? I'm from Australia originally. Oh, nice, Australia. Okay, so today's question is, what is your opinion on the declining birth rate here in Korea? Like, why is it happening? Uh, I think, firstly, putting aside Korea, just going worldwide, we're in post-capitalism. Mm -hmm. Economically, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. I don't think I know a single person who can maintain a single income household, no matter right. what degree they graduated from, yeah. no matter what job mm -hmm. they go in. Mm -hmm. And I think that it, the effect is compounded even more in Korea, where I'd say the income inequality is a bit higher than other places. Right. So you can't blame anyone whatsoever yeah. when it's already difficult enough to survive mm -hmm. as an individual, let yeah. alone as a couple or as a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anything else to add? Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Like there's no work-life balance, I think. Um, so people would much rather focus on their careers rather than a family or mm -hmm. or maybe there's no system in place, mm -hmm. like there is in the UK, right. to help people start a family yeah. and not focus on their, mm -hmm. on their jobs. I mean, there's a couple of factors. Employment is very rough here and the 
costs required for a standard of living that makes having children comfortable, not just like possible, is quite hard as well. And the other factor is like socially, I think women when they have children are generally, at least in like traditionally expected to leave their jobs. And a lot of women have been raised to like work and pursue interests. So if you're expected to leave your job, if you have a kid, it becomes a lot more of an ultimatum instead of just like a choice that adds on to your life. Oh, I think it's because they don't get a lot of support from the government mm -hmm. for having children. Yeah. I think that's one of the biggest issues. Yeah. I would think it's maybe personal reasons because I for myself also don't want kids. I just don't see that for my future and maybe also because females have to work as well nowadays and they just want to and they have the option. So why shouldn't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also think it's probably because of support. There's not a lot of government support, not a lot of money, financial support for the people. So it's pretty hard, especially in Korea with the prices rising with inflation, to actually have children. Uh, I think the country has some restrictions regarding uh, uh, birth mm -hmm. and uh, some places have some restrictions, for example, some parks. So you cannot go with children uh, to some places mm -hmm. and uh, maybe it could be the, it could be the reason.